me. Is that your new tape? Star-Lord? Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm hmm. Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and. You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Andy to buy it with his paper out money. I gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Might as well just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. Stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. The Mora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises.
Oh, it ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. I am Groot. Hey, it's only illegal if Novacor finds us inside, which they won't. Groot's right to be nervous, Rocket. Don't underestimate the Novacor. No wonder Rocket's the way he is. Ah, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confident. <sighs> arrested? If they catch us, they'll shoot us on spot. <gasps> Out here, on the frontier, cops don't have time to arrest people. I am Groot. <laughs> Relax, bud. Novacor ain't the type to shoot first. Arresting folks is their whole thing. Bad and silly helmets. <sighs> These gizmos rocket. I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. <laughs> How's that even gonna work? The thumper goes beep, 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 and the monsters come running? Eh, it goes more like, uh, wah, wah, wah! This ruckus at once! <laughs> and then the monster comes a running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey, all my intel came from your source. My sources are very reliable. Those coordinates are 100% pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. With no physical description to go by. What do you think elusive means? It don't matter what the monster looks like. As long as it's got ears, you could be sure my thumpers are gonna drive it right into our arms. Peter Quill, we must soon discuss the status of my official team membership badge. Drax, once again, there is no official badge. <laughs> Obviously, you would not have one, Assassin. The small one indicated the procedure is a well-guarded secret. Rocket, stop messing with him. Hey, uh, Gamora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. Ah. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing. Feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. So, Drax, excited to meet. Okay, here we go. Rocket Groot, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one. Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova Net still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the Assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't. Don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. 
the network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. Zero, four, five, one. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate tap- There! so much stuff left after the war. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overall. Plus, there's good money in it. The beast that we seek is far more valuable to the monster queen of Seknoff 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, the place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <clears throat> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group Quell Soda. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop side. The ground's too unstable to land a ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, group. <laughs> Don't worry. Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. Care of my baby. It's a ship eater, not a child. Huh. Oh, can you imagine? Take that brittle stuff. Someone's been practicing. Hey, starboard! Wrong way! You guys sure you don't need help? I am good. Yep. Being here definitely feels a little weird. Yo, Quill! These coordinates are so reliable. How come we're the only ones out here trying to catch this thing? You find something we could sell? Nah, just some old correspondence. Nah, it's totally safe. He is not a better shot. Than Heads up! For Dangerous and unstable. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Show off. Just making sure my guns work. this on the Milano, Drax. Try harder. Of 
thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by... pink goo. Ebrium-based nanoresin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. Just imagine what kind of blasters the Jadari had to use to wreck some of these frigates. You know, I think I do sort of get it. Thousands of worlds fighting for some fleeting greater good. Guess it is kind of poetic. I am good. Ah, cheer up. Just because the war was horrible doesn't mean there wasn't good times along the way. I am good. Yeah, I am mostly talking about stuff blowing up. How many of these ships did you personally destroy, Assassin? In this massive junkyard, filled with debris from both sides of the war. How do you expect me to answer that? Whoa! Okay. I'm okay! Ha! <laughs> Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us, hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you-know-who joined us. I am cool. I do not hate everybody. <laughs> the three of us have had some good times. Remember the gig on Draconius? <sighs> <laughs> the locals did not appreciate us hauling them onto our ship. Clark and shapeshifters, man. Never again. Huh? Settle an argument, wouldn't What is this omnipresent pink substance made of? You mean the ebrium based nano resin cluster foam? Pretty sure that weighs a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Paths this way. Come on! How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group, you think we can find pieces of the Trion shard in here? Ugh, you happy, Quill? You found the thing I told you was there, but you didn't listen. A dead end. Ah, uh, the mythical void. That's it. Walk of shame. <sighs> of course he could know. I told him. Done gloating? Oh, I am never done gloating. I am Groot. Yep, classic me. Everybody keep an eye out for any good scrap or components. Oh, oh. Watch it, Quill! Of course, shooting things is safe. Shooting things is always safe. Gross. <laughs> nice splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin' thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm thinking right in front. Ah! Ah! Amazing! I should have been recording. Bridge over. I want to see if he's alive. I don't know, but he's twitching. Flarkin, Scott Stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... Thought I saw a shortcut. Shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a crapped out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. Okay. Crawling through creepy old ship. No big deal. Easy there, Quill. Pretty sure nothing's gonna jump out at you. Except maybe me and Groot. Alright, Team Rocket. We've just set up another couple of thumpers. Floor! Trying to bring the whole place down, Quill! I shot a thing. I get it. 
First tool in the old toolbox. Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die. for this again. Squeal. You must fight with dignity, Peter Quill. Or at least die with it. Not funny. Be warned. I was attacked by strange creatures when installing a thumper. <laughs> must be working then. What they look like. A spine dwarf with multiple ocular protrusions. Uh, Quill, we got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. Like you could even tell if she had an honest face. Trust in the plan, guys. Everything has checked out so far, right down to the mining ship. We put our thumpers in the right places, and we'll bag that monster. Uh, Quill knows all about putting thumpers in the right places. <laughs> and getting monsters in the sack, too. <laughs> Mother of Scott! Are you kidding me? Smack! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. All right, Groot. Let's see that cool vibe. Oh, That's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross. More ship eaters. Oh, they're everywhere. All right, back to business. Boom! Right under your nose, Quill. All this firepower. Now it's all just scrap. Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? Hey, Greenies. You see any blue and gold ships out there, you let us know. We have seen many such ships. He needs active ones. We haven't talked about what to do if we run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we'll restrain them until we are done here. Bad idea. Any sign of cops, we surrender, okay? We do not surrender. I'm with Drax on this one. We all have criminal records, and they'll be looking for any excuse to arrest us. Okay, here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Mark, 
No. No! Flark and Skaggy! Kratak and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay. We're on what's left of a ship. <laughs> hey! A huge power generator! How do we hook it up? We don't! That thing would toast our little thumper. Huh. Where the shot? So what do I gotta do to get a last name like Drax? Katathias have no need for surnames. What about the Destroyer? It is a moniker to mark the countless I slaughtered during a shameful period of untempered rage. Yeah, one of those! I could be Rocket the Ruthless. Cause I'm pretty sure I ain't never had no Ruth. Found something with a charge. Kind of looks like a spacey car battery. Lusoid or xenon cell. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is minuscule at best. You'll be fine. Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Rocket! Help me scramble some critters! No, 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 stop it! Looks like it's all us, crew! Lights out! Pin him down, crew! Quill, watch it! to see you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? Guys. We deliver this monster to Lady Hellbender, we'll get bigger payouts, and jobs that don't suck. A ship for each one of us! I mean, a team only needs one ship. Perhaps a more spacious ship. What? No! Man! That thing is ridiculous! I think it was a ship or a robot? That's a Cree Century. A robot, but it would have been space worth it. Oh. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. Plus half a dozen Mega Sentry prototypes, star stealth models with modified sneak attack parameters, one with a big thruster instead of legs. Wonder if they ever got around to finishing any of those. Don't worry, I ain't even gotten serious yet. Any bets on what this monster's gonna look like? <laughs> How many legs? Like, uh, more than four? It will be majestic. What does that look like? We shall see. Groot, I need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. <laughs> now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that... Yes! I'm about to win this bet, Quill! How do we 
know the monster we're looking for ain't one of these things we already killed. If we're worthy of Lady Help in this collection, it would not die so fast. Hope we know this thing when we see it and not after we stopped it. Here goes nothing. <laughs> we're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. Have robot parts inside your head. Inside a giant robot head. Found a nest! Maybe this is the Parasite Clubhouse! <laughs> hey, Groot, what do you think I should do when I win this bet? I mean with the units he'll owe me once I win. Wonder how many big bot carcasses we'd find looking around the entire zone. Well, I know what I'll be doing with my winnings. <sighs> you know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating. All right, Thumper goes there, Quill. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Hey, Thumper ain't gonna install itself. Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off to see if you gotta love that kill radius. points like that. Sure I can. Hey, green team, looks like we're done installing our thumpers. Great job. We'll meet you at the mining ship. All right, mining rig is right there. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke down Shatari shipwreck's ever gonna be. Come on, Groot. We need to get across here. And Rocket wouldn't put you at risk, right? That's right. I've always got your back, bud. Nah, it just looks unstable like everything else in here. Don't get your twigs in a bundle. Yes, the resin can hold a stupid warship. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's totally safe. See, I'll even prove it. Huh? Look at this. Rocket? A fuck. Guys, jump! Groot! 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 Buddy, you're okay! Fine. 
You could have died saving me! I love you too, you selfless son of a drug. Come on, Cool. He says I'll meet us at the mining ship. I don't want to make him wait. That's it? You're not going after him? He says it's fine. We'll meet him later. Team Rocket, is everything okay? The signal just went dark. What? His radio must have broke when he fell. Uh, group just took a different path. He must have fell and broke his radio. Uh, yeah, that's it. Why take a different path? Team Rocket over. <laughs> Hope that got rid of him. Uh, sounds like Green Team's off our backs. Now we can stop worrying about that uh, dumb accident. Groot's fine anyways. There's nothing to worry about. Whatever, right? Like you said, Groot's fine. Everything is... Exact. We're all fine. Sure, sure, fine. Imagine towing all this scut by hand. Or by ship, technically. Maybe they retrofit their star blasters with Nova Force gravitational shuttles. Huh. Man! If that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't. Crap. This turbine's right in the way. We gotta get through it. These things open up to let gas through, right? Yep. You saying we're the gas? Today we are, if we can get it open. There's a drone access tunnel over here. Too bad we don't got a drone. <sighs> Can you squeeze in there? Knew it. Rocket, fix the thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. See anything? Yeah, a manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our cover points was covered in resin, so we're gonna fly around and scout another spot. Just make sure the new spot as close as possible to the original one. Because of... Ah, maps and angles. Great. Another turbine. Yeah, that is how these things are usually built. Floor! It's stuck on something! Someone's been practicing. Come on, let's get out of here. Back on track. The mining ship ain't too far. Think Groot's already ahead of us? Maybe. Hope he didn't get. Oh, crap, 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 crap! It wasn't me this time, I swear! I don't like this! Hope I don't tear my pants! I'm gripping this thing with muscles I didn't even know I had! Oh, crap! Ah! Ah! I told you I saw them. Great timing! How did you guys... I couldn't see you two, but you're gonna want to cross the ship as fast as you can. We're seeing a lot of movements. Yeah, Scott's getting real violent out here. Uh, just try to hold her still for us. That's not gonna be an option. 
piece. Got it. Meet you in a tick. No rush. It's uh, nice and cozy in here. Not so much when you can't see in the dark. Ah, I think I felt the panel. There's wiring in there. See if I can get the systems back on. How long is this gonna take? Oh, come on! Clark and tensor joint, just sneak. Uh, wiggle the... Uh. Okay, so life support's booting back up. What's it look like out there? Oh, mother of space bars. Just... of old cleaner bots maybe old cleaner bots you don't know <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the shooting. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots <laughs> accidentally at a distance. I am good. We're totally all right. They just ran away when it saw us, right, Quill? Rocket, I'm not so sure that swarm thing was inoffensive. I feel kind of bad about releasing it. Quill took a pot shot, his massive worm nest, a chunk of something fell off, and the big floaty creature came out of it. That's all. Here you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. Look at this old beauty. I am good. A table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear. Hey, hand me that part. It's all yours. Small marvel crafted. Hey, Quill! Groot says there might be something behind the big unit over here. Oh, yeah! Nailed it! <clears throat> and, uh... Thanks for the upgrade. All right. Let's squeeze our way out of here. So, that thing we set free... Uh, what thing? I didn't see a thing. Uh, definitely don't want to talk about no thing. Uh, seems a little wobbly. You guys hang back a sec. Well, Scott! Uh, this place is crawling with ugly! Guys, I'm not alone down here. You gotta deal with it. We'll look for a way around. Holy crap! This is the most punchable thing I've ever seen! <laughs>
Cater! What's the worst that could happen? Man, Rocky, you really missed out. That was amazing. Team Rocket, finally. We couldn't hear you before. Something about the mining should have been messing up our comms. Yeah, something really ain't right in here. And Quill fell down another hole. Another one. I'm parking the Milano, but Drax is out there searching for you. Maybe you'll find Quill before we do. We're trying to catch up to him. Guys, we really need to get better at the buddy system. He is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just old. Noted. some old equipment, but I do not see you. This whole place is old equipment. That does not narrow my search. You two have any luck? It is not a question of luck. Peter, make some noise so we can find you. Drax? Drax! Hey, you wanna mute your comms if you're gonna scream your lungs out? What a weird bunch of stuff to mine. What was it? I don't know. Weird QB hunks of rock or metal. Stand a chance. Any mind, guys? Listen for the great sounds of battle. This fighter crowd is down for good. Sure did. Say some for me. Not gonna be a problem. My turn! Milano near the last thumper spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. If we can get this thing down, it should give us the extra height we need. 
All right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It's a possibility. Maybe try something else. That crate is being held up by this crane. We could free it, were it not out of reach. Helps to be nimble. Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this! <laughs> that is physically impossible. Drax, think you can heft that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! It'll look real good right here. Understood. Remember this moment should you ever think of crossing me, assassin. All right, Rocket. We're back on track. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, good for you. Oh, yeah. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We... Oh, flog. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague. It was... rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. My little Camaria and her mother, Hovat, were two of the strongest people who ever lived. With a name like Hellbent, or Gamora's probably right. It's gotta be something scary. Nightmarish. A proper apex predator. Snarling and nasty. More teeth than all of us combined. Bat-like wings with razor tips. Probably spits poison or acid. Or acidic poison. I hope all these are true. I yearn for a worthy challenge. Hunting this thing kind of reminds me of this time when my hamster got loose and I chased her all over the basement. Ah, uh, was she a fearsome beast? Whoa! Hey, oh, 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 you guys, some timing. We got company. Tie them down, crew. How many did you get from the last supper? We haven't even placed it yet. This place is crawling with monsters. They are food for our quarry. We're not keeping our mind. Scary out there, Quill. Clark Dart's on the field. Danger on all sides. Then it's time we stand and face it and make sure they're nullified. Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead. Who's with me? Feel my wrath! Nice one, Peter! Time the bread! Yo! Your maker! What's up? It's some of this! Glorious! Bring on our monster! I am engorged with the thrum of. Battle! 
Didn't need to hear that. Come on, last bumper spot is this way. How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibration. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. The Milano should be right on the other side of this door. It was open when I came through here. Who says I tripped on something? Murder Mom probably closed the door behind her. Excuse me? My blades are eager to meet this monster. Remember, we take it alive. No accidents this time. I don't want a repeat of your mod. Your mod was not an accident. I simply did not agree that the Znark's mercenary deserved to live. It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch a genius at work! You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. Yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. Can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> Is it, uh, doing it? What? It appears to be broken. Ain't nothing broke. That's the sound it's supposed to make. What sounds? You can't hear that. Hear what? Our monster. Don't let it get behind you. It could be poisonous. Lady Nova will pay extra if it is poisonous. That's one less thing. Good thinking, Quill. Smoke the rocket! Maybe try calling it like a pet. Here, monster! Who's a good monster? Bad creature! Come face your punishment! But it can still run. There's gotta be some way to slow it down. <laughs> what the flark is that? Definitely not a monster. <laughs> Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state-of-the-art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. What the... Oh! Uh, you guys seeing what I'm seeing? That is a monster. All right. Enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. What in hell's name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. This is crapping out. We gotta get out of here! Now! Curse these volatile ruins! Tracks, go! Hold on to your butts, people! Rocket, hit the music! On it! Focus on flying, Peter! 
Someone play this man a song! <laughs> now we're talking! Watch the ship! I'm watching, I'm watching! You wait! Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks as Peter Blue instructed. Someone give me a hand! Am I right? How about one upside the head? From. Means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Uh, please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. It is Nova Corps. Say Hal's hope. Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Uh, not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter, Jason, Quill. Really, my middle name? Hey, hey, Corell. How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corell. I swear, it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Nice to see you too. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill? Of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. 
Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class Three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? I am Quill. Oh, the airlock. Oh, I really shouldn't have hung up on her. What about the crate? Leave it. I'll handle this. Krell and I have history together. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, I will get us out of this. Trust me. There's no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the Galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of... Most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos. Deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero? Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. Aren't you a little young for the core? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? If I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No. You do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. Everyone just do what they say. When I see Corral, I'll explain... The captain isn't going to see you. According to protocol, you're to be taken straight to the brig. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith energy, no power. No power. No containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that... They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier like Grand Raker. Unifier? Leader of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. All right, pirates. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. The difference is... I know the captain. As I was saying, you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Just to be no, super clear on the mom. That.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Let me just see if I can... around the corner we'll be safe there here help me with this ready together on three two one <laughs> go go yeah. oh. okay we need to keep moving this way you dead Nikki I knew there was something wrong about that church ship. Who goes fishing for God in a junkyard? Man, this is bad. Blast doors kick in during emergencies. Pretty sure I can override them with my passkey. They give out override key to trainees? Not exactly. Just give me a sec. Come on, come on! You know, I could probably help with the door if we undid these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on, you clearly need my help. No! You're my prisoner, and I got this. <laughs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay, this way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast door down here. How do we establish a special... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Relax, you're fine-ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay, I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost there. Can you please stop squirming? I'm trying to focus. Okay, okay. Yes! Got it! Through here! Whew. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star-Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news. It's some bad news about your friends. Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. One of them actually seems really active. Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missed easy, does it? There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I um I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. You gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Give them personality. Very cool. Come on, this way. 
Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy, and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep, that's her. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. This way. Any day now. Right, right, just taking it all in. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know, because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. Oh, wow! Don't laugh. No, no! This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? Definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort differently. Pirating? Hey! Secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before Mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I... Never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me! Never saw my passkey! You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. <sighs> Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hall's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar's secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well. You have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. 
Upper level. Captain's quarters. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I think your mom might be on to you. I don't know what you're talking about. On to you about what? I don't know! I'm stuck in an elevator with crazy people! No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger. And that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security. Or through the hangar bay checkpoint. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You hack them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I, I hack stuff. You know, beep, bop, boop, 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 beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters, and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. <sighs> so, rough day, huh? Building shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have them. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, Part of me was excited, at first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed at all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 9,000 units in three cycles. Wow, that, OK. That is a lot of money. Look, here, I was thinking that the maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship and a Class II biohazard. I couldn't decide which one to hide. Peter. Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on... I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it. I promise.
You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 9,000 units is a small price. 9,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that Rodents hoard. Nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a Rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS Quarantine Zone access code. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! <laughs> do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Groot has the right to some privacy. Ah, now is not the time for pointless civility. Oh, Groot. Groot? You okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? Groot? Is that my toothbrush? Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. <laughs> Groot has a rich, velvety voice. I bet Corral would have found whatever we tried to hide anyways. Well, well, 
Oh well, let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? You appear to be 8,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean... Don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. holding out My on figurines quote. are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't Roar. be bothered to make no you sacrifice. For the I will Star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic oh, mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Guys, I think we should hear our group for once. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters. And you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing, in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy?
I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Of course. It had to be raining. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle, it is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there. Never seen anything like it. Meteorological suicide is what it is. You got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. Okay, guys, if we just keep our footing, it'll be a straight shot across. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. We must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trainer to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Blow your worst, monstrous queen! <laughs> Did we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not careful! Clark! That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this? Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice! Should have gone to Mach 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and their Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. 
around here looks like we are outside lady hellbender's sanctuary creatures here are not her pets we sort of do look like food we're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here there's a trail going through the jungle try to find a way out this husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain i ain't comfortable calling it a husk seeing as we're about to climb it and all I think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Shall I continue ripping it apart? No, no, no. I think we're good. Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow.
There they are! Wing controls! Need your expert skills again, Rocket. Gamora! How much do you know about external wing controls? Maybe if you slice the circuitry, you can... No! Slice the circuitry! What is wrong with you? Get out of my way! I'll take care of it! jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. tracking this thing for? For sport. Nothing wrong with a little sport. A girl has to keep busy. You are looking for trouble, assassin. What are you firing at, Peter Quill? Do you see a monster? No, just trying to stay ready. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary Further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we have wanted, we never go anywhere. Good point. Good thing we have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it refers to. <laughs> what about her sister, Nebula? Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a Harlot. Right, right. That, too. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. This jungle is majestic. In an everything's trying to kill you sort of way, sure. That is precisely why it is majestic. Messing with us, right? Nope. <laughs> Are you frightened, Rogue? I'm cautious. You try being this side. I gotta watch out for things that can eat me in one gulp. That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs. Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. I know they're all alien. I mean this... Uh, dead end. That's just right. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! 
We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of forking dogs! How will we cross? Scum, don't face scum. Look around, we'll find another way. Shooting your way out of every problem again, Peter? I do. Not a chance. We both know it's too far for you to stretch it. What's Shatari Tech doing on a backwater mud ball like this? There has to be something we can use. Maybe a tall tree? Taller than Groot. Think these statues are of the monsters on this planet? They're made of rock. Thank you. I mean, maybe this is why Hellbent is so hot for monsters. It would be easier to throw the rodent. No, it would not. What if he breaks a leg? Wow! It is dark in here! If you bump into any monsters, let us know! Monster planet! Right! Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. No, the statues are not watching us. Do not be so sure. A miracle it's still standing in these storms. Drax, think you can topple this? I may have angered them. Them? We're being hunted. Right. That's just... All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk? <laughs> Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait. Hear that? Oh. Up, people! Incoming! <laughs> yes, I know we're in a fight! To the bone! Well then, start swatting! My blood lost it! I will face all of Lady Hellbender's feet! Don't forget! Keep them busy, crew! These things would have been handy a second ago! It would have been better than Rax's idea! Hold up, Rocket! You're up big time! Watch the stingers! Do not watch and destroy! Enjoy the honor of your death! Enough of these 
inferior creatures. I yearn for monsters. I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. Why are we so sure this is the way? All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. 50 units, I think. He doesn't have 50 units. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Ah, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Seknarf Nine. Ha! That, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. Gamora, am I cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Nova Bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infiltrator. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the hold up? Fear. No. Just thinking someone else would cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and Plan B, okay? 